Spirit Quartz from uh, Bukenaut Hook, South Africa. Central Quartz Crystal surrounded by the smaller ones. In this case, there's a very mild coating of girthite on this guy. Almost like a juice running across it. Actually quite appealing. Almost the fenster effect in this in this crystalline section here. This is very unusual material in that I haven't seen it uh, for many, many moons. Maybe late late 90s uh, since I last saw this particular material. Um, Telltale, of course, is the underlying form where you have the core quartz crystal surrounded by the smaller ones. Matrix would be pretty much a solid quartz. There you can actually see on a cross section what happens. You'd have the core crystal, the older generation of quartz, and then the younger one sitting on top of it. Now, I believe these are some of the oldest quartzes on earth from this particular deposit. Um, color would be determined by what happens around the outside, well, the inside edges running from the outside. So in this case, we're almost looking at a, a bit of a smoky amethyst. Very abstract, because as I move it, uh, the color changes. It's as if we're looking at a different, uh, almost a grayish material. Whereas when we angle it in like this, we have this lovely amethyst effect. This would be all the way from South Africa. Bukenaut Hook, one of our many, many specialities here in South Africa. Thin coating of girthite. You'll be, you'll be familiar with the sunshine spirit quartz. Well, with this would be almost a mustardy sunshine uh, coating. All absolutely natural, of course. Uh, I'll give it one more turn for the... Uh, for the audience, one more bow, bow for the audience, <laughs> all the way from South Africa, uh, Spirit Quartz.